Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. So again to our today we are unfolding another new session of monitoring. It's a full stack monitoring using New Relic rule. Well, New Relic is uh, again a very good competitor if you compare with other monitoring tools like you know Grafana, AppDynamics, Elasticsearch. So today we're gonna do a quick end-to-end -end monitoring of your Kubernetes cluster, which includes the application uh, using a New Relic cloud stack so let's quickly sign up for free i will just sign on with my legitimate email id so that you will will get one free user with you know 1000 gb access in a month and then you can uh, quickly create one instance and learn how new relic works actually right so since i already have an account you simply click on your existing email id and then you will into your new relic uh, cloud SaaS based account. Now this is a new relic account that is getting opened and the remaining things are really state forward. Uh, the moment it is being on, you need to simply come on to this, uh, the all integrations and agents basically. And what you need to integrate with this, your uh, cloud new relic account. So I have a uh, Kubernetes cluster, right? That I want to get it. Uh, monitored so I can simply go ahead and search the Kubernetes option yes here it is it was hiding now I need to install the uh, new relic agent uh, on this you know Kubernetes cluster I'll create a new key okay this is the new key I need to copy this key which will be used in the next uh, new relic documentation yeah so this is a new key that we have used it today I'll do a continue now uh, choose a Kubernetes cluster name suppose I'll do a K3D uh, cluster uh, April okay suppose uh, I want to integrate the matrix namespace from this cluster right I'm not using GKE autopilot cluster next uh, what this will do this will scrap all the prometheus endpoints that are there on, onto your cluster it is you know advisable to turn it on so that your prometheus endpoint that are there that will get you know monitored now what is this enable AP, apm instrumentation this is the open telemetry based auto instrumentation that is available you know across all monitoring tools that you can use it and you can opt in and get the first hand instrumentation of your any application whether it's java.net and so on will be checking now now they are saying enable apm auto instrumentation yes i want to enable apm auto instrumentation for sure uh, i'll do continue i will say forward all the logs with the minimal richmond continue now this is something which we need to run uh, as a helm chart into our uh, cluster right uh, into our uh, mini cube cluster so what we are doing we are simply saying please do a helm repo add of new relic right and then a helm repo update and then finally they're installing the new relic uh and this this and uh, yeah we'll simply go ahead and run this command it will install the new relic agent into your machine right so i'm into which namespace i'm into metrics namespace right so i will just go ahead and run this command which will install your new relic agent and everything right now what is the next step Next step is you can download this value set configuration file that is optional so we'll skip it we don't want to do anything fancy and then uh, you can upgrade your agent I don't want to do an upgrade I'll simply go on next now this is getting installed right so let's see I want to do the I have a Java Spring Boot application which we want to monitor so this is Java and I want to do a namespace level you know annotation so let me select the namespace level namespace to monitor i have a matrix namespace which i want to get it monitored which is fairly easy and then i will simply download this file right this file has been downloaded to my local system and then i'll simply apply this file so let me go back and go to that location where this instrumentation.yml is there so i'll just copy this thing and go back to this folder i'll commit everything into this so that you can 
reuse it also that you can follow along right so this is the one that I'm talking about at instrumentation.yml file so let me see whether my helm chart is up helm chart is installed i can see the pods are also up right at kns metric hl kns okay so you can see i did some mistake here the name is a little bit change so yeah you can see all the pods are running in the matrix namespace correct and then i'll go back yeah this is the instrumentation.yml that is being i uh, all just now installed let me see the yeah the matrix namespace is right i'll just copy paste this thing for doing the auto instrumentation right like auto instrumentation is there now i will create my pet clinic application in the same uh, let me delete it from there which i already have it into different namespace kgp k del deployment pet clinic okay so this has been now deleted i will go ahead and yes now here is where i am okay so yeah i will do k apply yes now my pet clinic which is a java based application which is also getting installed in the same app uh, same names so here i have the uh, instrumentation okay uh, from new relic next i'll hit continue i'll test the connection the connection is successful i'll see your data now what this will do this will simply uh, capture all the infrastructure uh, data from my cluster and then it will capture the uh, the infrastructure as the application monitoring data from this cluster from this namespace and then it will send it to your neural lake right so let me generate some traffic from the pet clinic application also which is i have done the port forwarding just for your understanding purpose right so this will come up in a while yes so pet clinic application is up and running perfect now you can see the kcd k3d cluster and april you can see now uh, the cluster is there and it is you know giving you the infrastructure stats so let's go one on one by one what are the things that are coming under the hood from this new relic uh, you know saas based tool right first of all I'll go to overview dashboard yeah I can click on that overview dashboard. I can see number of nodes, number of clusters, and everything. It will it will take some time. Yeah, network uh, supports are running. Pod services demonstrate containers. You can see the summary, and you can see the remaining things. It will bring all those summaries one by one. Yeah. So let's go back and see the infrastructure icon. Now this is all about you know checking all the different different icons in new relic and see whether the infrastructure monitor. So infrastructure monitor is coming. CPU memory disk usage disk utilization is coming from this cluster, right? And let's see the logs whether the logs are coming. I'll just touch base only you know metrics logs and traces, and then we'll wrap up this video, right? Because this is this the quick one, right? The logs are coming, okay? From that cluster, we have just installed the agent. It's an open telemetry based agent. Right, and then let's go back to the the IPM, right? The application, whether the auto instrumentation of application is happening or not. So you can see the pet clinic is now coming. So we did not do any, uh, you know, custom instrumentation. The auto instrumentation done by the instrumentation uh, possessed or you know started by this agent. That is all. It is happening, right? And this agent is nothing but a met. Uh, uh, it's a open telemetry based agent of new relic 
I'll show you the Helm list values and Helm list, uh, you know, the manifest in a while. But you can see the pet clinic application is sending already the data and the transactions, right? So let's see the transactions. Let me hit some more transactions. It will start giving the transactions of pet clinic. You can see the conditions is coming good so yeah JVM it will take some time to get the data but anyway it will come because the pet clinic has uh, giving let me go back again to the home page yes so what I've seen I've seen host I've seen application I've seen containers let me go back to host again right and I can see the cluster information a 3d cluster which i'm using which is sending the data correct i'm getting the mattress logs are also coming let me check the 30 minutes log i'm just exploring all the options yeah you can see the dashboard says CPU, memory, memory, free disk, disk IO, network, network drops, and everything is again. Let's see the network related issues on my cluster. Since, yeah, network related things are also coming processes, storage, system dependencies are the other options. Let me go back to my apps. This is the more important thing whether my the app apm level monitoring is happening or not so i'll click on this again yeah now you can see the data is coming up that score throughput that is what i want to show and the error rate right so that is the one which i want to show it to you for this fat clinic for critical too high anything on this distributed tracing let's see there's nothing in which anything on the service map if I double click it will just give I think connection only to this map only there's nothing which is getting connected to pet clinic transactions is, is the helm chart that we have installed okay i'll do helm get values i'll look for the helm list helm get values and if you have a lot of queries and questions to ask you can simply put down into the comment section i'll try to so this is the license key this is the value that i have passed the logging is enabled this is the image that has been passed of cube state matrix which is nothing but capturing the infrastructure data and yeah the prometheus agent logging everything is enabled now helm get values and helm get manifest we'll see on what uh, you know principle it is running right is it using uh, open telemetry principle or auto instrumentation or what it is using so Yeah, so stateful side it is running. Deployment it is running. Yeah, so that is pretty much. Let's see. So I can see the infrastructure dashboard from here also, right? The same thing in a different format that is pretty much so yeah the same and another dashboard of showing the infrastructure data correct so let's go back and see if they have any details related to apm services yeah so not much of data is coming in this so anyway so let's let's take a pause we'll in our next session on new relic we'll you know do instruments some more application to get the application related stuff 
and we'll see the app tech score and uh, other stuff right pertaining to this so if you have any other suggestions pertaining to new relic specifically this is a new tool that we are trying to use it today we'll, we'll see it